Well, good evening tonight, folks, from Arlington, Texas, and we are going to try a place that you see behind us, and it's called Whataburger. Uh, we got here a little bit later than our flight was supposed to, so we're going to grab something quick here. We've never been to a Whataburger because we don't have them at home, but that's a thing here in Texas, so uh, we are going to try a Whataburger tonight, and we're going to uh, go in here and check it out. I don't know if it's like, you know, Wendy's or, five, or if it's something comparable to Five Guys. We don't know, but we're we're starved. We haven't eaten since we left North Carolina. So we're going to go into Whataburger and check this place out tonight. So we'll let you know how it goes. small place, small pictures on the wall over there. So I haven't even gotten up to where we can read the menu yet. Okay, first experience at Whataburger, and we uh, eat. Uh, it's got a combo. Got pretty good sized drinks. And these are mediums. Those are mediums. Wow. Yeah, it's, tex it it's Texas. Everything's bigger. <laughs> um, so, what did you get? Patty milk meal, and it has onion rings. Okay, so you got onion rings. And I got the triple meat, and that's a number three combo, and that's only because I'm starved. I usually don't get a triple, but <laughs> I feel like tonight I could eat a quadruple. So, could, yeah. so it's been probably six or seven hours since we've eaten. Oh, yeah, and they have a Dr. Pepper shake. We're going to try that out as well. Mm -hmm. I'm going to get that when we're done eating. So here's, this is what most of the water burgers I've seen out here look like. They have the A-frame. This one does not. I was disappointed. But anyway, uh, yeah, that'll be okay as long as the food's good. Right now, you could about sell me on eating anywhere. So anyway, just pan around the inside again. We're excited because we were back. We were out here. Uh, well, of course, we flew into DFW back in uh, 2021 on our Western trip, but we didn't actually leave the airport then. We just connected to El Paso there. But we were in this area back in 2017, mm -hmm. and the reason we were here then was our son was getting ready. To, he had been to Fort Hood. And he was getting ready to be deployed overseas yes. to to um, to wait, and he got a few days leave, so uh, we came out here to see him. And um, that's the last time we've been in this area. We've wanted to come back ever since. We've never done videos here, so here we is, are. <laughs> this is where the mystery trip has been. It's to Dallas Fort Worth area. We're going to be here for three nights. And then we're going down to San Antonio. We're going to be doing some things on the river walk down there. But we've never been to San Antonio. But we're going to be doing some things around Dallas Fort Worth, some things we did last time, uh, plus some things we didn't do last time. Uh, we're going to be going around to um, different places on the show Walker, Texas Ranger. And I'm not talking about the new one, I'm talking about the one with Chuck Norris, the, the real, real one. one. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> So there's some scenes in that. Uh, after we came out here, I started watching my DVD set again. I started seeing things. Hey, we were there. So we're going to be uh, going around to some scenes, just a few. There's there's hundreds we could do, but maybe a handful, eight, five, six, seven or eight maybe, places that were in the show. And we're going to be showing you some of those. We're going to be going into Reunion Tower, which has some awesome views of the Dallas skyline. We're taking in a rodeo in Fort Worth. We always said if we ever did a, a major rodeo, we wanted it to be at the Cowtown Coliseum. That's the only year-round rodeo, I think, in the world, or at least in the country. So uh, we're going to be going to the Fort Worth Stockyards. We're going to be doing a lot of things in the next three days. So um, got here too late to take in a baseball game. But also we're going to tour AT&T Stadium, home of the Dallas Cowboys tomorrow. 
and love them or hate them. I'm not a Dallas fan, but um, I've heard it's one of the greatest football stadiums in the league, so we're going to be taking a tour of that at 10 o'clock in the morning. But tonight, we're just going to drive back and go back to the room. So we're looking forward to getting our food. So anyway, stay tuned for our adventures in Dallas, Fort Worth, and San Antonio coming up this weekend. All right, our food has arrived. And I'm curious about those onion rings, and I made onions, but they look pretty good, actually. So what do you think? They're very good. Very good? Mm -hmm. All right, open them hamburgers up right quick. I'm starved. This is my triple. That's a big <laughs> Yeah, that's a that's good, a, that's that's a a good size burger. burger right there. All right, mayonnaise, pickles, and cheese, and tomato. And I got a patty milk. You got a patty milk. No, I've got two, two uh, patties on it. Wow. We'll take you back real quick. So are they good? Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, Shaughnessy is sitting here freezing to death and she ordered a milkshake. <laughs> she ordered a doc, one of these Dr. Pepper shakes right here. Mm -hmm. So we've never had a Dr. Pepper shake. Now I noticed this here in the door. Apparently they got a pancake mix, a sausage, and a honey butter. <laughs> I don't know if that's something that's still made or if that's vintage or something. But I don't know if the honey butter is good. Yeah. All right, there's the Dr. Pepper shakes. I did not realize she had ordered us each one. <laughs> I thought you'd want one too. <laughs> yeah, well. <laughs> After eating that big burger, I should have. Yeah, that was something. So, does it taste like a Dr. Pepper shake should taste? I don't know yet. Can't get it to come up to a shock. Oh, it's one of those thick ones. <clears throat> you can kind of taste it. It's not very strong, but you can kind of taste a little bit of Dr. Pepper in it. Okay. All right, well, we're going to step out and give our final review. All right, we're back in our room now because it's late, but we did want to give you our final thoughts on what a burger. This is, again, our first time ever trying one, and we're here in Arlington, Texas, um, getting ready to start our weekend. So, Shaughnessy, as always, go first. Okay, so um, the onion rings were perfection. They were delicious. Um, just the right am amount of crispiness and softness of the onions, that was very good. Um, the patty melt was very good, very filling. Um, it was on like a Texas toast, two patties, so it was <clears throat> it was a lot of food. It was very good. Um, so we got the combo meal, and I guess it comes with a medium drink, which actually looks like an extra large drink. So um, I guess because you're in Texas, you get it's big. Um, and then they had a Dr. Pe Pepper milkshake that I wanted to try. So once we were done eating, I went and ordered it. They forgot, which is okay. Uh, so I go back over and he goes, did you want to place an order? I said, well, I had ordered the milkshake. He goes, oh, okay. So he goes back and, you know, I, I tasted it while we were there. Um, I thought I could taste the hint of Dr. Pepper, but I asked Eric, I said, does it taste like a vanilla? It's like I'm not really tasting the Dr. Pepper. So if he put any flavoring in there, it was very, very little. So I was kind of disappointed. I really wanted to try it, but I'm sure it was probably <clears> like a, what you would picture a Dr. Pepper float maybe to taste like. So, but overall, I'm happy with my meal. My burger and onion rings were very good. So it was a good experience and okay. I'd do it again. All right. Yeah, uh, what a burger is it kind of a Texas thing. I know there's some in maybe New Mexico and Arizona, I think I was reading, but uh, hundreds of locations across Texas. So uh, we had seen them when we were out here last time in 2017. Uh, did not get to try one, so we decided to make that our first meal of this trip. Uh, yeah, I went in there, and because I was so hungry, I had not eaten since we left North Carolina, I ordered the triple combo. That, that was dumb, because I had I had forgotten that everything's bigger in Texas. And the bun, even the bun itself, it's not that the meat was thick, but big around. Yeah, it was a much bigger around than yeah. at, at home burger. Than what we would get at home, yeah. yeah. So uh, I, it was all I could do. I struggled getting it down and I was very, very hungry. So if you're not very hungry, don't, do not get the triple meat <laughs> uh, combo. That was number three, maybe go for double or something. Um, but yeah, I thought, I thought it was a good burger, really did. Uh, not disappointed at all in the burger. Uh, like she said, the medium drink was a large to mega anywhere else. So again, you're in Texas. So 
Uh, those were good. The fries were, you know, fries. They reminded me a lot of steak and shake fries, to be honest with you. They're really, really thin. And, you know, they tasted about identical to steak and shake. Probably the one thing, like she mentioned, that wasn't the highlight was the Dr. Pepper shake. I mean, it wasn't a bad flavor. It just, you couldn't tell it was Dr. Pepper. Uh, it was kind of maybe a vanilla with a little something in it, but you couldn't really put your finger on what it was. So probably would not get that again, but I would definitely go to a Whataburger again because mm -hmm. I think... Um, you know, for a fast food place, it's it's something different that we don't have at home. But overall, I, I think I thought it was really good. It was really good, and <clears throat> I told him this after we um, were talking after, before we got our food. I said that looks like the W. I said it looks like Wonder Woman. Yeah. I, said, I didn't want to say that on camera just in case it didn't look like it. So I had to um, Google the Wonder Woman symbol, and it does, and it does look, look like, like the W burger, like yeah. that. So anyway, it's it's a Wonder Woman burger. <laughs> so okay, we're tired in case y'all can't tell so it's been a long day again had a delayed flight um we like an hour and a half delayed for takeoff and uh it was just it's been a long day and then the rental car uh that was a pretty good experience it took a little bit to get our rental car though but uh, uh that was a good experience as well I'll probably do a separate review on that we rented with alamo again so anyway this is what a burger so uh, Arlington, Texas. We're about halfway between Fort Worth and Dallas. Actually, where we're staying right here at the Howard Johnson's, we can see both Globe Life Field, which is the Texas Rangers ballpark, and AT&T Stadium, which is where the Dallas Cowboys play. So we're like right there at both stadiums. So, um, anyway, Six Flags is nearby, too. Yeah, Six Flags over Texas is right next door. We, we actually passed the roller coaster pulling into the parking lot. Mm -hmm. So anyway, um, but Whataburger, good place. I'd do it again. So thank y'all for watching. If you like this video, like and subscribe. And find us on Facebook. And have a blessed evening.